to change the okay let's go ahead and and go into the folder so I'm gonna ls this and look down here and this is the thing I need so I need to change the ownership of that too CS3, okay. So now I change that to uh, my, uh, so now I have uh, permission to access and do whatever I want. So the next thing I need to do is I need to cat this. And, okay, so it's already configured because I messed with it earlier, but uh, just for an example, let's say if I want to change the mo from uh, three into uh, the first one is uh, mo zero, the uh, primary function, then I need to do a sudo echo zero and then point toward the MCSBI register here. Okay, now I need to cat that and see how that has uh, changed my mode. So now I'm in mode zero. It's, uh, so obviously, by just um, you know uh, writing a zero, that will clear all the uh, input settings. So now it's an output and whatever not. So now, if you want to change this into an input mode, you need to do sudo echo. You can do uh, 0x, or I don't think it matters because uh, when you do this, it's uh, assume it's in hexadecimal, anyways. So it goes from most significant um, to a bit to least significant bit. So if you want to change the input, then you need to uh, uh, turn this thing high. So that's a 1, that's the first one. So 1. And then. I want to uh, enable this thing and then pull up this thing high. So that is one it's because it start on the f uh, this one. The, the fifth uh, number is the first bit of the second has a decimal. If that didn't make any sense at all. And then uh, let's go here, uh, mo seven is the one we're looking for. Uh, Actually, mode mo number three. So one one zero, and then we want to enable the pop. So this is one. So one one zero one gives um, that is eleven. So that's a that's a B. Yes. So B. So most significant bit, the next bit, and the least significant bit, uh, bit which uh, has a decimal, if you will. And you point that toward the uh, register uh, register name um, CSBI one CS CS three. So now you cat that, and you can see that it has changed into an input mode with a pull up uh, configuration. So that is it, and let's uh, check out uh, verify that. So have a read, uh, let's export. Before you can do anything with uh, like reading, whatever, to that, uh, GPIO, you need to export. So in my previous videos, uh, tutorials, or if you've seen it, uh, I made this bash program where you can just change the, uh, the different GPIO, export it, and just into a one line of command here. So check initial condition values to the one that we're looking for. So it's input and one. And during input, you cannot change the uh, value from from this uh, class GPIO uh, from the command line like this. The only way to change the value of the input is either one by Ch changing the mux that, like we did earlier, or two, uh, physically grounding the pin to zero. That way, you can, when you read it, it's a zero and not high. 
So there's some restriction as far as input mode, uh, as far as output. Um, uh, you can change it on the fly. So, so Mux will take care of your input pump. That's one thing I've been working on. So let's see, out zero. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to change uh, the output uh, direction to different values, but not the input. Input, you have to use Mux. Uh, yeah, I say that a couple times now. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any question, post on the comment below. Uh, see you next time. Bye.